everyone, this is MJ. You are at my channel called Reading This Life. Welcome if you are brand spanking new. And welcome back if you are a subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you should consider doing so. In this video, I am going to catch you up with everything that I've been reading this week. Before I get started, remember to like this video, comment down below, let me know what have you been reading? Are you still participating in horror mayhem? I'd be interested to find out. Okay, so the first book that I've been reading all month long is Moondance by S.P. Somtau. This is a buddy read that I've been doing with Criminali and we have both hit section three. Um, we are going to continue reading this this weekend. This is where we are in section three. We have this much left. Um, it is enjoyable. It is a sprawling tale about werewolves from Europe coming to settle in America. Um, so it takes you through I think the, the beginning uh, date is 1963. It kind of gives you a little flavor for what the book is about. Then takes you back in time to the 1800s um, and how the werewolves uh, were coming to um, America during like the gold rush and, and all that good stuff. Now in section three, it's taking us back to 1963. So there's a little bit of history going, going along throughout this book, which is fascinating. The characters are interesting. Um, there is a count, there is a governess, there are, um, you know, multiple werewolves. Uh, and the one of the main characters is um, Johnny and Johnny is a werewolf. And he is also um, a serial killer and he has multiple personality disorder. So his character is one of my favorites, 100%. Um, but I'm excited to see where this book goes now that we have moved into the 1960s. It should be interesting. Um, yeah, so right now I would recommend this to anyone that wants to do a deep dive into some type of a long werewolf narrative story. I mean, it's a chunk, but I'm enjoying it and that's the important thing. Last week, I also finished um, O Caledonia, which is a book that my best friend recommended to me. I will put a link to my full review video here. Um, this is a story, a gothic story, about a 16 year old who lives in a castle with her family. Um, and it is dark, it is a little twisted. Um, the ending caught me by surprise, and I would classify it as like an emo 16 candles, if that makes sense but really descriptive, um, takes place in Scotland. Love the writing. This absolutely is one of my top books of the year. I also finished um, At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. This is my first Lovecraft story that um, I've ever read and it was interesting. Um, it kind of had a documentary feel to it. Um, not a lot of character development, but definitely descriptive in the language. Um, you felt like you were in the setting, but I just didn't think this should have been my first Lovecraft. I was a little let down, I guess. So on Goodreads, I gave it three stars. Don't hate me, but yeah. So I think I, I need to get into a different Love, Lovecraft story to get the full effect. I'll give him another chance. Okay, so let's talk about what is on my reading horizon for this weekend. Of course, we are getting back into Moondance, hopefully going to be able to get a chunk, if not all of it, maybe, don't know. Don't know what the weekend we have planned. Um, we have a long weekend here in the States and it's a good time to get back into reading. I think I only have stuff going on one day, so hopefully it'll be a lot of good reading time. And I don't know if I can finish it, but I'm gonna do my best to get a chunk of it done. Then I started today, Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. This is another werewolf book, more of a modern take. Um, I've only gotten 20 some pages in. It is a fast read, so far it's pretty good. I'm just learning about the characters and their little wolfy habits. So I'll be doing a review on this probably during the week, maybe. Um, and then I'm doing an audio book with Black and Teeth doing that one, listening to it. I'm about halfway in and I'm okay with it. I'm not like over the moon. Um, the narrator is okay. She's doing the different voices and all that. So I'm not, um, I'm not absolutely thrilled with it, but I'm finishing it out. I'm not gonna DNF it. Ah, uh, and 
And I think that's it. That's it for May. May has just been awesome. Um, and then starting June 1st, uh, at my channel, we are doing a group read of Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. If you're interested in that, make sure to check out my Discord down below. And also, May it, or June is June on the Range. So that starts with cowboy stuff and Western stuff. So I will be sure to let you know of my June picks probably on June 1st. Um, so that's basically it here from me. I hope you are all staying safe and doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Until next time, everyone, goodbye for now.